Refresh, shut down source, but not visible. That do anything? No, it didn't do jack. Ah! Ah! Okay. Okay, I don't know what the fuck happened, but... So, that was a thing. Uh, now I can finally just rescale myself. But yeah. Uh... Don't really know what was up with that. But, um... Video games? Video games. Six? Well, store, what, what, what's, what's with the cat and storm? It, did, I, did I not say? Oh. Uh. Uh. It's one. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, that's... That's, uh... Oh, wait, no, I wanted to rescale that down. Oh, okay, that actually affects the, uh, thing on screen. Wait, no, what? What the fuck am I grabbing, then? Uh, uh God. Okay, I have to mess with my... Uh, OBS. Something... I guess maybe if I did a, a Windows update or something... Some did a kerfuffle. Uh, I gotta rescale this. It's been a second. It's been a wider, a wider screen than I'm normally accustomed to. Uh, so, sorry for the technical shenaniganery. I am. It's been. A, it, if you couldn't tell, it's been a minute. Um, and I am. I am. I'm a bit crusty. A bit crusty, if I don't say so myself. Alright, there we go. That's at a somewhat not terrible looking thing, even though we have a big uh, bottom segment thing. But just just don't pay attention to that. Okay, well, now we're going to play video games. Because video games! Almost I'm going to turn down the volume again a little bit. And then we can put the normal audio back up. Can, can you guys hear the game fine and whatnot? Because I had it down low, um, comparatively. But yeah. Game's a tad loud compared to your voice. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. So I'm gonna... Uh, how's, how's that sound? Is that, is that good? Yeah. Okie dokie, yeah. Cool, cool. But yeah, thank you all for joining me on this random ass stream that I have come forth to do. Where I have come to play random ass low poly games from the times of the olden days. Oh, dang it. It doesn't replay the, uh, the cutscene. Oh, also it is... Oh, it's one of those ones where you don't have analog support. But yeah, this is one... We are a shirtless man with a gun arm, I assume. Uh, all I know about it is you shoot stuff, and it, people say it's good. Yeah, it's just called One, and like the, the logo is like a barcode. Ever not get into fighting title, you... Okay, hold on, I gotta read this. Uh... Ah, greetings, Harry! Greetings, Natural Prime! How... How doth thine have uh, uh, d Hello, uh, greetings to this stream. Oh, uh, did somebody do do a follower? Uh, who did a oh, thank you, Natural Prime. Welcome. Uh, um, am I? Oh, Nana Nem uh, names. Uh, Nana Nemory. Thank you for the raid. Oh my God. <laughs> Is this the one? We believe it to be the one. Oh, and thank you also for the follow. Uh, uh. Trying to make sure I notice all people I'm coming back after not streaming for two weeks. Uh, but yeah, thank everybody for coming. We play in... Oh, also thank you, uh, Joey Colbat. Or... Colbat or Cobalt? No, it's Col... Colblat. Col... Fucking curse you, dyslexia! Uh, but welcome people who come to the stream. And thank you thank you so much for, for rating. Oh my god, that's, that's extremely nice of you. I, uh, I mean, you said you were going to do it, but I... 
again, it, still, it's extremely kind when everyone does something, but let's actually play video games on the stream instead of telling people how awesome they are for just coming to my stream. Yes. But welcome, everybody. Welcome. And if I didn't say your name, please pop up so I can say your names and say hi. Also, if I mispronounced, I am sorry. I have terrible pronunciation skills. But yeah, welcome, welcome, and thank you, everybody. I don't know what's going on, but things are happening, and the explosions all look very pretty. Same with this man and his shirtlessness. Oh, crap. I, I've been hit with two missiles. Uh, I do not know. Uh, it's called one. Like, literally just the word one. No, the, no, like, the one conspiracy. Like, the, um... Uh, the top, the actual logo is interesting because it's like a barcode. Um, all I know about it is it's like a run and gunner. Oh yeah, I, I love this. Mostly because it reminds me of my childhood and I also love, like, stylized effects and stuff. So it just, so, mm, mm, mm tasty. But yeah, I, I had a bunch of stuff on emulation that I've been meaning to try out to see if it's worth hunting down. And one I heard was good. Ooh, checkpoint. And has to try and find info on one end gauge. Oh yeah, I needed to go back up and read that because I was like, wait, what? Also, <laughs> what's happening? But everything looks amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm streaming this on like an emulator. Uh, so if you are ever familiar with those, the one I'm using is um, a duck station, which is I think a no Scott, um, a newer one that basically. From what I understand, HD defies everyone. Oh yeah! Oh god! I I can't wait for that to come out. I've been following um, the person behind it, and I'm forgetting their actual internet name or real name. I don't know if they've said the real name or whatever. I I I'm in their Discord. I honestly should try to remember that. But that the PS1 Bloodborne remake looks amazing, and I am so down for that. Looks so good. Oh no. I've become yellow. Don't want to be yellow, I want to be red. I want to be the Red Ranger. I, I don't know what I- oh no. Uh, I'm babbling. Also, look, that is a chunky man face. It's very cool looking. We're back down to green. We're mean and green. Oh, uh, <laughs> And I jump into the hole. Uh, if you want any good PS1 games to play, I'm going to use this time to talk about Klonoa, because, yes, oh god, yeah, Klonoa is amazing. Oh god, almost. I need, uh, that's another one I need to play. I need to actually download it. I wish I had gotten it as a kid. I think the, the one I actually played more when I was younger was the, oh, damn it. Um, <laughs> I am, I'm playing terribly, but having fun talking, um, was the... It's the PS2 one where he has, like, the surfboard and the edgy 2000s pants, I guess is how I would describe it. Oh, yeah. That's that's what I've seen when I look up those prices. Like, I, I would love to hunt down certain games to have them, but, uh... Oh, Danny Boy, those prices. Like, another another one I would love to hunt down would be Tail... Tail... Bleh, tail Concerto. Um, because it's done by one of my favorite developers, which is, uh, like, CyberConnect2. Uh, who made the Dot Hat games, and most recently made, uh... Okay. Oh, I keep dying right there. Yes. Um... Oh, God, what is it? Fuga! Fuga! Melodies of Steel. Oh, yeah, that's, again, another, another one. I love... I love those... The design of those games is very cute. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't, if you like those games, they made a newer one called Fuga, which is really good that I need to check out. Um, oh yeah, it, it looks adorable as heck. Also, it has mechs, and I like giant robots, so that's always a plus. Uh, so it's like, it's 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 like a, a ice cream with two different flavors on top. It's like the greatest of everything. You have giant robots and furries. What What's not to love? It, it's, it's like uh, chocolate ice cream and vanilla ice cream stacked on top of each other. It's it's perfection. Or like uh, Coke and a burger. Just amazing goodness. 
Ooh, damn, 300 cop, 300 bucks for your copy. Yeah, that's that sounds about how it's going for right now. It's worth it, but it's also not at the same time. I also have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just holding forward. <laughs> this game looks great, but uh, I don't know if it's just because I'm I'm not really paying attention too much because I'm talking uh, to everybody. Because I usually don't have this many people in my chat. Usually one or two, so uh, I'm a little little flustered, little gab gabbers. Gabber smacked? Gabber walked? Where, uh, is that another... Oh, thank you for following, Harry! Thank you so much! That's extremely nice of you. Uh, again, I, I hope you enjoy my nonsense speakery. God, I love the way the, the crunchy explosions look. Again, I I love everything about the low-poly PS2... Uh, P not PS2, well, I also like PS2 aesthetic. Uh, PS1 aesthetic. It is, it is very good. Okay, no, no, hey, we're not dying today. Nope, nope, yes. Aha, we've made it past the place I keep dying at, hopefully, I think, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's the the thing with a lot of, like, especially nowadays, I've probably gone up in a, oh, shit. I got past where I died previously, but the pits, they keep on coming. Oh god, yeah, a Klonoa remaster or re-release would be amazing. Um, like, just something on Steam or, like, the Switch. That, that'd just be, like, the best. Uh, or a... dang it. <laughs> or a, a, a collection. Oh! Oh god, it's been a minute since I've watched any of uh, Steampunk Giraffe's videos, but I... I've never thought of myself talking a bit like that, but maybe, maybe I need to I, I need to check up on them. It's been a minute. Um. Uh, again, sorry if I'm a little gabber smacked or a little uh, off there. I'm again not used to having this many people in my chat. Up oh, uh, there it goes. And I'm looking at chat and not looking at the game. <laughs> uh, that's kind of nice though. Just getting to chat. And all those things, but yeah, I've, I've never. I'll have to rewatch some of their videos because I, I haven't uh, seen them enough because I wouldn't know. But that's neat. That's neat that I talk about the spine. Playing new trademarks. Uh, one leaker said it should be showcase some exposed. Oh, oh no no no! Oh, I fell to the floor. Well, yeah. Hopefully, it does get shown off then. Um, also, if I can't get past. Uh, Past this after a, this attempt, maybe we'll grab something else, or I'll, I'll uh... Oh, oh, did you see that? I went through, I floated through the floor. Oh, uh, Klonoa is a, like, 2.5D, uh, platformer made by Konami, I want to say? Back in the 90s. It basically has this adorable... Namco, Namco, okay. It was one of those two, because... Again, they have, like, the the red font logo. I always get mixed up. That and both... Oh, son of a gun. Uh, let's give this one more try. One more try. Um, but yeah, he is adorable little, like, dog boy. I, th I feel like he's a dog bunny boy, is what I remember them being. Cat rabbit. Ah, oh, he's a cabot. Okay. I always get those two mixed up, because they that's always a thing. But that, that's that's the classic anime animal fusion is a cabot. Um, but yeah, he's like a his little adorable cabot boy, who I forget what the plot of the game is. Storm can probably be your Klonoa lore expert and give you all the deep dives. But like you you have like a little ring, you shoot at things, and you can kind of like um, uh, what what is it like dig dug stuff where you kind of glab them and you can use them as like little projectiles and hit stuff in both in front of you and in the environment. The wind ring going on. Ah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're saving the world from nightmares. That's what it was. Alright. Let's see if I can not uh, get murdered this time trying to go through that one section. Oh, we have a melee button. That's cool. What does triangle do? Triangle does nothing. Yeah, that, that was the dig, dig, the, the dig dug thing. Um, that I was thinking. 
which I think did Namco do Dig Dug? I w if so, then again, that might be another like one of those. Uh, that was the influence because it's got the Pac-Man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's neat. Again, like they have all the 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 Namco history stuff. All right, I'm gonna not read chat for a second to see if I can actually get past this. If not, uh, we'll we'll try on a little something else. Hey, cat, how goes it? Welcome to the stream. We're playing one, just one. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. And every time I've gotten to this point, I've died in the intro stage because <laughs> I keep reading chat because I'm not used to having all these people in here. It's nice to be able to talk to peeps. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm doing it. No, 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 no. Ha no. ha. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, yes. Victory. Victory is in my ass. Progress. Glorious prog. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We got past the point I kept dying at. Ooh. No longer in our... I can blow up stuff. And we have snipers. I can do kung fu action. Nay. I shan't surrender to no man. The pure, pure button mash goodness right now. But yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know what to say more, but yeah, Klonoa is good. Tail Concerto and most of CyberConnect 2's games are very good. Um, the only drawback is with, with CC2's games, unless it's like the Naruto or anime arena fighters, um, they're very annoying to hunt to hunt down. Ooh, spaceship. Uh, especially nowadays with the whole, like, uh, craziness with, um, retro game sales. Like, I would love to own all the OG dot hack games, but, uh, some of... Unless you can find it for a good deal nowadays, it's... Oh, no, 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 Scott, no. Ha-ha! No! SpaghettiOs. Did I get a checkpoint? Oh, boy. Um, but yeah, those, uh, those games... Except for the GU ones nowadays, because they re-release those, uh, in an HD collection, are annoying to find, because there's freaking four of them. I think we have, I think... In, yeah, I have Infection, I want to say. Um... Which, th I think it's... After you get past Infection, and then it's Mutation, uh, it starts to go up to insane points in price. Uh, I, I forget. It's been a minute since I've tried to look them down. But yeah, PS2 JRPGs are insane. Yeah, I, I grew up, like, playing, uh, GU, and then... Because I... I watched the cutscenes for the original Dot Hat games after I beat GU and everything. That and I watched um, Dot Hack Sign, which was very good. Uh, just very like, I guess what in retrospect would be best described as sad trans boy energy. Yeah, it's sad trans boy energy. Um, with sorry, I. Hmm, I guess it depends on how you interpret the character there. But, uh, that's, that's how I would describe that game, that, sh not game, that show. Uh, as sad trans boy energy. Because it is very moody, um, and whatnot. Oh god, yeah, a compilation for the OG Dot Hack games would be amazing. Oh, oh, sp <laughs> I done did it again. Uh, but yeah, Sign was good. Um, Brutes, not as easy to enjoy. Uh, whereas, the, like, the, the main character in that one is the same one as in the GU games, uh, who, being an edgy 2000s anime boy, uh, 
in the games it was fine because you got the development, but Roots, not as much. Had some good soundtrack though. All, all of them had really good soundtracks. That's that's the big positive is the music in them. Oh my goodness, the music was tasty. It was it was like a fine fine burger from McDonald's. Just like when you when you go and you get to it, and it's got all the right stuff. Like a. It's like when you go to a McDonald's and you get the best kind of burger. It's not bad. It's not like. Oh, uh, feels like it's old or it's been sitting for a minute, but it's just like nice and fresh and you just go insane because it's like, wow, it's a McDonald's burger and it's amazing. Um, but it's still a McDonald's burger, so you can enjoy it even if the, the show itself uh, is not as. Ah, uh, dang, I lost my Super Bowl. Uh, is good, but the music is still like that, that complimentary tasty goodness in a McDonald's burger. If that makes any sense to anyone with my weird food analogies. Yes! Okay, now I stay on here and don't die. Uh, yeah. Okay, I will read what I think I saw Harry... No, SpaghettiOs. Platforming. Apparently, not my best suit right now. Uh, okay. You know what you're there for? And exactly as good as you expect it to be. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm glad people like my weird, obfuscated McDonald's metaphor. Ah, this... This game is interesting so far, because it's, it's very much like... Embrace the run and gun. Uh, but the the jumping could be a little little more forgiving. Is there a sequel called Two? Maybe, maybe. It, it, but you know it's gonna have to star a vampire to be to be able to the to top of this. There we go. I think the the trigger for the uh, event change is for the all the. Uh, crates to be exploded So we just gotta make enough boom boom to get the the zoom zoom I, I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> Is this the prequel to it takes two what a shift to <laughs> Yeah, oh god. Yeah uh, I, 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 I Need to play one of those games or like um cause I think is it brothers? Uh, that is the, um, previous one before it, it, they did, uh, I think it's, it's a way out. Um, and then it takes two. I, I need to play one of those at some point with somebody. Mostly just because I would like to experience something like that, because that sounds extremely enjoyable. Because I'm usually only solo. But I don't want to be solo. I want to be a two player. It's two player. No, what the? Did not crap? What? Did, did, did y'all see that? Did 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 y'all see that? He he jumped because he's been grabbing all the other ledges, but he just refuses to grab that one ledge. Okay. Alrighty then. I don't know what happened right there, but we shall see. What cometh? Uh, I think we're, we're in a, one of those points where it's video games done poorly, but goofily? I, I think that's what I would describe what's happening on stream right now. That and just blind nonsense, because it's explosions. Because that, that just feels like what's happening right now is just madness and explosions. Oh, dang it. Right, let's let's see if I can... Finally, Uno the game. <laughs> yes. Th this is the prequel to Uno. This is before the, the card game evolved. <laughs> Before, before the universe had peace and harmony with the power of card games, uh, there was chaos and laser beams and space cops. 
<laughs> the Netflix adaptation of Uno. Uh, they gotta build up to the to the other the you and the end. If 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 the Uno movie was like Yu-Gi-Oh, um, or like any of those kind of uh, twi twi what? Again, he refuses to grab the ledge. What madness be? But yeah, if, if an Uno movie was like a like a Yu-Gi-Oh, like so overly dramatic and insane, like that show, or like um any any of those kind of like kids toy card game games, that'd be that'd be worth watching. And also, I think we're going to do a change of the game. Huzzah! Uh, let us see what other bits of uh, funsies we got. Uh, I could do the Tale from Kirtos, which I just talked about. Or, let's see, what the... Oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> let's see, where is it? Uh, Apocalypse, here we go. Oh, I actually saved where I was. Pop out of that. But yes... Do y'all remember Brucey e. Willis? Well, ha here's weird PS1 game starring Bruce Willis, where he's a rogue scientist uh, fighting a satanic priest or something. It's, it's Bruce Willis as a renegade scientist. Uh, God, I, I thought of like a crazy nonsense way of how to pronounce this, but yeah. Bruce, Bruce Willis is some dude. Uh, okay, uh, now I have to put it in to change the thing of above. Oh, and then it opens on the level I was literally on. Yeah, it, uh, I'll get to it in a second. I just gotta do the changeover for the, um, there we go. But yeah, it is literally a Bruce Willis game. One of two, apparently. Because there is there is a Die Hard game on the PlayStation One that looks absolutely terrible. Um, but yeah, like this is a generic game title starting generic action man. Like it, it's like trying to make Bruce Willis uh, one. <laughs> yeah, I'm going from one to apocalypse. Uh, I'm I'm going on two different extremes today. But yeah, it's like imagine if basically you had Bruce Willis. Uh, trying to do, like, the Die Hard thing, but if he would just was in the booth for, like, one day to record a bunch of random, like, one-liners, like he was, like, Duke Nukem or something. Also, there was a time I now actually I wish I, um, I... Now, there's a game called Driver on the PlayStation 1 that I probably should have downloaded. Sword. But yeah, prepare for edgy nonsense from the 290s. No, my sworn enemy. Yep, shooty McAmerican man. Except this time, it's got a famous person's face. Or, I mean, fallen person now. Beast, my four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah, totally cool. <laughs> Title drop, yeah. Oh god, yes, Legacy of Cain. That's another really good one. I freaking love those games. Um in the dangerous ways of the sciences in direct violation of the twelve recommendations of the Reverend. How would you plead? I'm gonna stick my foot so far again. One liners. Very much so. I actually think it is ten bucks on eBay. Some bad dreams tonight. <laughs> um, the fun thing is, it, it actually is a pretty good game. Like, it, it's probably not worth anything, and it's weird that it has Bruce Willis in the title, but 
it is fun at least with what I'll show you. But yeah, uh Oh yeah, 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 I know. It's just what you would expect when you see something like this where it's like an actor putting his face on a video game. Welcome to like that makes me just think oh, I don't again, I'll I'll talk about that in a second. Every every like it makes me think of Shaq Fu basically. Um Here we go, Chief. Uh, like, that's, like, my instant thought process is Shaq Fu. Suck on this. Oh, yeah, that's the bomb. Uh, but yeah, like, this is such a weird thing to find, and it to actually be pretty fun. A masterpiece in how not to make a, a, a game, but how to make something fun but terrible. Yes. But that, that is just my my opinion y'all 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 do you also i might need to turn this down a little bit more because i'm seeing it kind of croach up to how often i'm speaking can't let it overtake my glorious melodious voice can't i my voice is is what you're here for my delicious delicious sounds wow this is terrible i love it <laughs> yeah uh but yeah um legacy of kane yes uh, though those games, I love them. Oh, that's a new one. I didn't hear that last time when I was playing. Uh, but yeah, uh, I love, I love the story of those games. Certain ones are a bit difficult when it comes to replaying them. Uh, like Soul Reaver is very much something from around that time. With its huge, like, number of block puzzles and stuff, so it gets a little old. I actually feel like if you're gonna go back and play them just for a, a gameplay standpoint, um, Blood Omen, which is the first one, uh, is actually probably the easiest to get into in terms of, uh, general, like, video gamery. Oh, nope. I get... <laughs> It, if, you, if you haven't played it back now, um, it's it's still good. It just takes a second to get into the groove of it. Because, like, it doesn't have certain modern, uh, uh, like, uh, sensibilities, I guess. Both from a control standpoint and a, like, uh, action-adventure game. I guess is how I would describe it. So there's some some stuff that just if you can get into it, it's not bad, but it, it takes a good minute to um uh get get back into the groove up because there there's some things that just haven't aged well and some things that have. But yeah, Soul Reaver is still good from a narrative standpoint, I think very much so. Uh, but, um, the game, the gameplay holds up, like, 50% of the time, I want to say. Like, uh, you, you get parts of it, and then you just have to deal with, like, I want to say, like, 50 block puzzles that are, like, a bit repetitive. Or, uh, just some weirdness with the controls, but it, it's still relatively, dang, ah. Couldn't dodge them all. Is there stuff down there? Nope. Okay. Um. But yeah, I think it's definitely still is it's something you can easily get into. It's not like playing something on DOS where it like it feels like you're completely in another dimension. Uh, glorious explosions. Um. Now we commit war crimes. Edgy 90s war crimes. Yeah. Don't you don't y'all love war crimes? These guys need a little more lead in their diet. War crimes intensifies on this stream. Uh, uh, Drop one on, it's time to jam. 
That is a terrible pick. Like, uh, <laughs> yay crimes. Yeah. Always remember, be gay and do crimes. I mean, when did, where did that meme come from? Cause that, that came out around 2011, 20, 2014, right? Oh yeah, you can be, you can be straight and do crimes. You can do me whatever when you do crimes, cause fuck the system, man. The system has betrayed us, and there, so forth, and so forth, so so forth, and so we must destroy the system by doing crimes, crimes of passion, and crimes of love, and crimes of just cool stuff. Yeah, it's crime time, baby. <laughs> now that sounds like a, a a MIDI clip that you'd hear in a game. Um, uh. Okay, we're going. Well, that <laughs> did that. Yay, one up. Crimes of passion, stealing from Walmart, invading taxes. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck taxes. That shit makes... That, that is literally the reason why I cannot afford to buy a home and live with my friends. If I could... Oh my god. I literally would have a house with cat and Dex already. I would have bought the home and have it paid off in probably three years with how many commissions I do. But no, I got to pay the taxes. And instead of spending them on public welfare, they spend them on war and bullshit. That's why we say fuck the government. Government not for the people. Yes, taxes are evil. Hey, I'm not getting paid enough to do this crap. Yeah, same here, Harry. Well, I'm basically going to have to start quotifying myself because I make enough now to uh, be where I have to report my taxes to that now, which sucks. It sucks hell. And you'd, you'd think they wouldn't want the people who do their own shit to not be the people who get all the taxes, but no. No, they have to take me, the guy who, who draws a bunch of random furry bullshit and giant robots, uh, instead of the, like, I don't know, crazy uh, person like, um... Uh, who, who's insane? Uh, Bobby Kotick. There we go. I was watching the gym position earlier today, so there. That, that, that's always relevant. Fuck Bobby Kotick. Fuck Bobby Kotick and his uh, attempt to once random murder someone, and even though the Activision owned Hexen. That, that's. Oh god, I I cannot string together funny word sentences as well as Stephanie Stir James Stephanie Sterling. They are too cool, and I, I wish to one day be as cool as Stephanie is. Oh my god, they, they are so cool. If you don't know who I'm talking about, um, I, if you like video games and also like fuck you to corporations, um, go check out The Gym Position with James Stephanie Sterling, who is very cool and very awesome uh, non-binary person who talks about video games. Yay! We blew up a bunch of dudes, but yeah. I, who is? This tube looks safe to us. Uh, James Stephanie Sterling. Um, they they also do Twitch streams too. You can check them out on here. Uh, they're on the Twatters. The Twatters. They're on there. Um, and whatnot. Oh. And then the, the show they do on um, on YouTube is called The Gymquisition. So, like, uh, that kind of thing. 
but yeah, they uh, they are very very good about like making sure to call. Like they talk about a lot of the industry's abuses and and whatnot in their show and all the kind of stuff that doesn't get talked about because it's a, a games journalism show, and they uh, they've been doing it for a good couple of years now. They, they've been around forever um, and whatnot. Their most recent episode was basically about the uh, uh, the acquisition. Of Blizzard by Activision, and that's why I was moving all the the Bobby Kotick thing. Into the soup. Oh no! The hillbillies of death. Oh, you want some too? oh, I knocked down the thing. Cool. Ah, like, okay, here we go. Here's the one spot I specifically wanted just to both to play on this game to show off. Uh, and also to talk about uh, as being peak PS1 looking thing. Um, cause like the way this, like the, this, this water falls and like has been textured. Like this is just the most PlayStation 1 era looking thing ever. Like this looks akin to how Soul Reaver did it. How, a, I want to say Spider-Man did it. And a bunch of other games on the PlayStation 1 that just has this, like water that looks like giant jaggedy chunks of triangles and blocks and then has these textures overlaid onto it that just i don't know it just it reminds me so much of like this aesthetic same with like a uh, this color section of this wall over here like the way this is textured and the lighting how it's baked onto there just evokes this era of video games immensely to myself or t to me uh and like at some point I'm going to um, uh, figure out. I'm, I'm gonna. I want to take either a game design class through like Skillshare or one of those little online uh, learnable things, and figure out how to both make 3D models. Because one, I want to have one of my persona, and then I can have that on um, on stream, and also do like VR chat or something, I guess. Uh, and also just because it'd be cool, and then I could like do animations of just random nonsense because like who doesn't want to have to be able to make 3d adventures where you're so where you can go into source filmmaker and um have your persona beat hatsume biku or like uh or something or uh the heavy from freaking uh team fortress 2 because that that is li is living the real life. <laughs> uh, when the TV commercial warns you about hard water in your taps, <laughs> yeah, oh god, yeah, that's just what it means. This 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 is the hard water they warn you about. Oh yeah, just just. Making animations of your persona meeting famous video game characters and saying hi. <laughs> that, that is the dream. That is what we all want. We all just want to meet Hatsune Miku. Ah, oh, again, like, ah. The textures, they're so beautiful. I bun, I bun crispy. I now have cooked buns. My buns are nice and, and firm and warm. Ah, uh, uh, again, again, this area also speaks to me as like peak PS2 coloring. Like this, this is very much like the greens and kind of blues that you, that at least what I associate um, with. Uh, like this kind of era and in terms of like textures and stuff or in terms of like more realistic style games or stuff that's doing this sort of art style the other would be like Spyro which also still had some elements of this kind of texturing in it but in a very different color palette but yeah it's it's very ps one and that is very mm -hmm, tasty like chef's kiss oh no I'm about to die oh no 
Brucey Willis is down. I wish I had some, like, Bruce Willis facts to say, but I, I honestly don't know too much about Bruce Willis. The most I know nowadays is, like, he... Dang it. Um, is... He's like Steven Seagal in that he is just... Yeah, he's still alive. He just released a movie, I think. A... Son of a gun. Um, like a bit ago? Or just literally just recently? What the... Uh, but yeah, he's like, uh, Steven Seagal now, where he doesn't really, or like, not Steven Seagal, but like Adam Sandler, there we go, Adam Sandler, where he doesn't really give a crap about any of the movies he's in anymore, and, like, it shows. Hold me. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This part is also very cool. Like, I would love to have something, like, where you're doing this, because this is just a cool fucking drop. But yeah, he, that's what it feels like, because he's in, like, seven movies every couple of months where he apparently just feels like he comes in for one day of filming and then they film all of his other scenes with like a bald stunt double. That last step's a doozy. Um, but yeah, like, uh, that's all it is. That and I think a while back he had some thing where, um, he was being crazy in a, uh, uh, like a store somewhere or something. Like one of those things where it's like, I. Something like that, like where it's like crazy celebrity nonsense. Oh, okay, I already murdered them all. Can't you pull the trick ready faster? Ah, them frames. But yeah. That, at least, that, that's most of my knowledge of Satan! We have Satan symbol! It is very good. It's nice and crunchy Satan symbol. It is very aesthetic. I would definitely put that on my album cover. <laughs> or my, um, uh, what's, what's, what's something edgy that you do at school, uh, uh, your, your notebook or something? Or you'd have, uh, the dangly earring bits on your uh, your goth clothes. I wish I, I dressed like a goth more in um, in high school or middle. Because I basically just wore like a Green Day hoodie all the time. That that was me in high school and middle, middle school. Because I wore a Green Day hoodie through most of middle school. Um, and that was just it. Like I, I wore jeans and a Green Day hoodie. Move it, move it, oh, move it. oh, I did not die. Uh, and then in high school, I got a leather jacket that had a bunch of pockets on the inside. So I was like, oh, sweet, I can hide a bunch of snacks and stuff. And so I would always have just food inside my jacket. Uh, so just uh, imagine, like, the skinniest, paleest, nerdiest motherfucker ever uh, wearing, like, a huge-ass leather jacket that his mom got him. And that's, that's how I looked like in middle school. Oh, uh, yeah, that... Uh, that was basically it. Just that was that was me in high school. But yeah. She Don't have to shout, Bruce Willis. Don't have to shout. Yeah. I I ironically never really got into Avenged Sevenfold in high school. Uh, yeah, very sheet. Um, it's not. I'm surprised I didn't, cause like I was super into Lincoln Park growing up. Uh, Rise Against Green, uh, Green Day, as stated. Oh shit! Oh, now as we fighting the alligator. Suck on um, but yeah, I never, never really got into Avenged Sevenfold. I know like I think two songs, which is like uh, Hail to the King, because I see people use that in AMVs all the time. Uh, again, most of my most of my musical knowledge, outside of like, again, Rise Against, Lincoln Park, and Green Day songs, comes from AMVs. Like, if you if you don't have a good AMV to your name, I'm not gonna think well of your band. Like that that is how that that is the proper way to judge music. Uh, if you if you don't have oh god what ow what what is that. Jesus, what was that? I don't know what 
was up with that, but that did not happen when I first played through that with a horrifying Skirtle. Uh, but yeah, if you don't have good AMVs, uh, you're... I'm not gonna think well of your band. So if anyone out there is making AMVs, make sure you, you, you do them well so people like me, um... Like, don't misjudge bands. Because <laughs> I'm that superficial, I guess. Um, but yeah. Oh, the- Jesus Christ, that head. And oh, the 90s. There it is, Renegade Scientist. Oh yeah, most definitely. It's just like, again, I'm being extremely superficial. Like, I, I follow other bands and whatnot. It's just like, when, when you're purely just going in for music, and you're not really, like, super into hitting up with bands... Uh, like, all I do is I just go and, like, okay, what's a, what's an anime I like, or what, let's look for some AMVs. Like, that, that's the kind of person I am sometimes. Like, I want to say, oh, like, oh, no, I don't, I don't just judge stuff based off their AMVs, but I totally do. I am totally just a dude who judges purely based off of, like, how well some dude has edited together music with anime clips. Also, this music is very bopping. It's very bopping. But I think this is also where we will cut it quits for Apocalypse. Uh, now let's see what other game. Uh, yes, current section will stop. So let's let's see what other shenaniganery we can uh, take a look at. Uh, we went from one to Apocalypse. Two nuclear strike. Ah, I love that sound. Because I'm apparently just choosing the most weird ass naming conventions. Nuclear blaze, nuclear throw. There we go, nuclear strike. But yeah, I wouldn't say I'm not as superficial when it comes to music, but I totally am. Oh no, EA. The device is coming all shapes. And oh, hello. Sizes, just like the lunatics who use it. Anyone who tells you that the threat of thermonuclear war is over is a fool, an enemy, or both. Well, now I feel like I'm watching a sci fi channel movie or TV show, I guess, because that feels more like an intro. But that, that, that was like totally like the sci fi channel presents. Nuclear Strike, the series, starring Shane, uh, oh god, what was that one actor's name who was in a bunch of those? Oh, okay, uh, press X, strike file, config, controls audio difficulty, uh, audio? Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, I apparently have Devis, like, just... Chaos and Doom stuff going on for my thing. Oh, it's like a... <laughs> That's cool. The actual little menu sound is like radiation. That... Like, that is... A super cool little touch. Uh, strike files, attack, credits... Uh, let's... I guess this is how we start? I... Money. Ooh. Money is just Cutscene. Worthless paper unless it's backed by something. Ooh, FMVs. Freedom. Freedom is just a pretty idea unless it's backed by force. And that's what strikes about. America. Oh. Uh. Okay, I guess this is supposed to be a way to get into it. A few passports. Oh. Oh, so you actually have to press start. Hey, yo, big general. We That's got a hit weird. on a reprocessing plant in Belarus. Oh. The inventory list a missing plutonium pit from an SS missile. Mmm, FMV. Massive blast potential. Oh, about 10 pounds of fission material. That's enough to rock a city. What data links we got? Interpol tracked it to Bangkok. Editing is my passion. Andrea. Nick Arnold was inserted into the jungles of Indocino on recon, but his signal's gone down. Suspects. My best guess is 
It's Colonel Lamond. He sold out every intelligence agency that hired him. Lamond, I'm so afraid of this. Local resistance is led by one, Naja Han, survivor of the Colonel's killing fit, and one, fine, so you know what I'm saying? Indocene takes full priority. Commander, contact Nick Arnold and support Naja and the resistance. That was extremely erratic, and I love it. It was just like chaos in the form of editing. It was beautiful. It was tragic. And I feel as if I'm in love. Ooh. 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 Oh, okay. We got some weight to ourselves. Okay. Okay, that's how we do that. Oh, we got... We got dudes on the blue. Oh, explosions. Okay, oh, this is... This is neat. I, I literally don't... only grabbed this because I saw this game once at a used bookstore, and I didn't end up buying it because I was, like, looking at a, a different game at the time. I got, like, um... I forget what I got. I think it might have just been random-ass comic books. Is that normally what I buy whenever I go to my used bookstores. To you. Come down and fight. Yep. Definitely a bunch of, bunch of war crimes to be had. Did I pick those up? Uh, are, they, are these power up? Oh! Oh, that's cool! You have to actually, like, stop and hover over pickups. That's super neat. Because, like... It's maintaining an active tone, even though it's video gaming. Like, it's trying to be like, yeah, we're a realistic war combat game. But no, we're actually, like, still doing video game pickups to make it, like, easier for the player. Okay. War crimes! I don't... Okay, the little arrow says I need to go this way. I'm assuming the arrow is where we need to go. Or what we need to blow up. I might, I might need to blow up this village. Definitely War Crime Simulator 1990-something. But yeah. Okay. Got tanks shooting me in the face. I don't. Oh, okay. We have an armored thing. That's that's how I know how much health I have. Okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm digging it. Wait, did I re did I make sure? Yep. This is still set to the same proper good resolution. But yeah. How how are you guys liking uh, these games so far? I know the. Uh, it's a, like a weird eclectic collection, but that, that that's how I would best describe my tastes. Kind of very random and strange. Uh, Kat can attest to this, because she's seen the actual movies that I find and hunt down um, all the time. Like, am, I, am I literally supposed to just destroy this village, or am I supposed to murder these tanks? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. This is cool, though. It's not like Ace Ace Com Ace Combat or yeah, Ace Combat levels of like uh... okay, what? Okay, I guess this is something I'm supposed to do. Oh, what? Oh, that's okay. That's a, that's neat. I literally was just expecting this to be like a like a going around, but it's got, like, some immersive elements into it. I guess I gotta murder these dudes just trying to not let this building burn. Again, war crimes. Okay, no? Is that it? Because it says... Okay, then... So, yeah, it definitely has to do something with this. Oh, it was a smoke pit. That's what it was. Okay. I'll guide you to quick ladder in that village. 
Oh, just mind problems, but I'm working on it. I have been talking with my therapist. Oh no, I turned the things off. Though this will make for great video game, like, study footage for video game AMVs for that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm fine. I just, I last week I had a very bad bout of it, um, for a minute, and I, I had also been, like, doing research on depression, uh, and basically had been meaning to talk to my therapist about it, and then just last week was difficult, uh, so I pretty much had, oh, ammo down. Can I circle strength, or how can I, okay, that does that. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I had a, a hard week last week. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling better this week. I've got some work done. Oh shit, just got rocket launches. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing fine, Doodle. I'm doing, I'm doing fine now. And again, I, I'm working on getting it better and dealing with that in whatever way my therapist's, uh, things will help. I, I just have to go, um, I gotta, I gotta go get an appointment set up with a physician. Thanks, Commander. I have an exposition. Check your map. Uh, and get examined, and then pretty much, like, from there, I'm gonna be going forward to either if I need to get medication, or it's something to do with my vitamin levels, is what my, uh, therapist, uh, uh, talked about. And then there's, there's one other thing that I feel like I'm forgetting. Um, Am I supposed to go somewhere? Or... Oh! Oh, that's cool. You can switch things. Yeah, brain shit is indeed weird. Yeah, that's one thing. I want to try and do a um a Project Winner stream at some point, or just playing more Project Winner. Cause we we planned on doing that all bit ago, but. Uh... Again, uh, madness happens, but again, I, I've been I've been trying to talk with peoples and stuff. I really don't know what I'm doing right now, but hey, I'm having fun. This is I mean, this is one of those games where I have no idea what I'm doing, but the actual process of playing it and it visually looks interesting. It, it doesn't bother you because again, you're not instantly dying over pits where you feel like something's going wrong. You're just like it, it does that twitchy thing. Uh, well, while still maintaining, I don't know, like, just cohesion or something? I'm, I don't, I'm not sure. Just, just, fun thing is fun. But yeah, definitely, if like, if we can, I definitely would love to play some, some more co-op stuff. Um, at some point. Is there a map? Oh! Oh, there is a map. Okay. Okay, this is this is more involved than I thought it was. Uh, we've lost voice contact with Nick. Commander. Oh, the situation is dire. When you do pick up his homing signal, head to the contact point and extract him. <laughs> Exercise extreme yeah. caution. Indocene is one giant sinkhole. Don't fall in. Okay, dang, this game has more stuff put into it than I thought. Because I was, again, I was just thinking, like, chopper game where you just go and shoot stuff. But no, this is, like, a much, much more complicated, like, uh, in-depth kind of thing. Oh, am I, am I, oh, that's cool. And then you get to get picked up. Get out of there, Commander. Your armor is failing. Okay, this is neat. Uh, see, that, that's one of the cool things about the PlayStation 1, um, is there's a bunch of weird, like, experimental stuff. Um, where you just don't see, or like, it was around a time where you still had a bunch of genres around. Watch out! It's a trap! Uh... Because I, you would never really think to see something like this again nowadays. Or at least not in, like, the same context. So 
uh, just like random interesting little things like this just you don't really see nowadays. Uh, okay, random bass with that one string of music that everyone uses for like all kinds of things in Asia. But with like a different little tempo thing? Right, where, where am I supposed to go? Uh, and I can return him to the C shadow bass. Map. Uh, okay, I need to go... Oh! Apparently just check your map every now and then to activate, um, your little waypoint thing. That's neat. Ah. I, again, you guys, I, I don't know if it's coming across, but this is, like, extremely fun and interesting to me. Like, this, this is just like, ah. <laughs> Smoke pit. They got ribs. Maybe. He's dead. Oop. He found his tape on. He come to the jungle and meet the tiger. No need to send good water. Yeah. Enough hack. We know how it ends. But yeah, like definitely like uh yeah, like what you, what Harry is saying uh, is like they would give stuff a chance. Like we you would see things like try different stuff. Oh, it's definitely an action, but it's got, like, that military kind of, like, edgy... Again, like, that. It, the time was just full of edge. Um, kind of feel that you would have. I'm gonna repair what? Am I supposed to escort something? Okay, what? What? But yeah, like there, there was definitely like a, a time when you could f just see stuff doing things. I don't know. What is, okay, I'm just stop over here. I'm going to shoot it in the face. Uh oh! I'm supposed to defend that, presumably. Um, that, like, I just, like, I miss that level of, like, you could see all kinds of different levels of games. And, like, indie games are nice. Like, I think there is something very cool about seeing things made by one person or a small team, um, to, like, have their own specific vision and identity. Uh, but I also feel like I wish you could see those same people get paid easier. Um, like, you could see, like, a small-ish, medium-sized studio, like, you get a good bit of money and funding to where they can easily play, pay, like, their dudes, uh, and, like, do stuff while still being able to keep some, like, things going on. Is that a civilian? No, I guess, oh, it, oh, you could rescue civilians, too, that's neat. Um, uh, but yeah, I just, like, that's, that's one of the big things I miss, just kind of, I guess, in retrospect, when you grow up, and things are no longer really there nowadays. Uh, and I don't mean to say, like, everything was better when I was young, it's just, like, one of those things you took for granted when you were younger, I guess. Um... Or at least just if it, the culture of the time was that way. Deserts? Oh, it might actually be, because I, I looked... Again, I looked it up when I was trying to remember the name of this. And there were a couple games uh, in this series. Like, uh, apparently the, the first one was on the Amiga. And the other one on the PlayStation 1 was called uh, Soviet Strikes, which I assume you were like a Soviet... Uh, operator in, like, the Cold War or something. I, I can never tell with, with these sort of things. You, you never know. Because it has, like, the, the sickle and stuff on it. Um, but, yeah. And this, let me... I'm, I'm curious. Cause let's... Let's see. Uh, strike. Because I want to say... Yeah, video game. Uh, play... 
Operation David Strike. It's a game by Electric Arts. Yep, okay, this game is definitely a sequel to those. Like, yeah, this is definitely uh, in the same series, basically. Um, so yeah, Desert Strike, Nuclear Strike, and then I have another game that was actually meant to be a sci-fi version of this. Because, um, again, I was reading the Wikipedia page. Uh, and then it was, um, like, uh, they turned it into Future Cop LAPD. Uh, uh, it reminds me of one game on the original Xbox that kind of stepped out like this. It had a mechanic where you had a sci-fi battle tank that could transform into an air jet. It was like Battle Tank Atta or something. I think I've seen that, where it's got, like, a kind of a bowl head shape going on for it. Um... Wait, what? Did I just say rescue? Oh, I, I almost read that as ninja. Is it a ninja hana? I, again, I have no idea what uh, names are. Um, but yeah, I want to say they're they're pro. I think I've seen that um, somewhere. I, also, I think it's if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's on Steam now. Like they ported it. In. Um. But yeah, I because I think I saw. It on, uh... I get a, a used bookstore where I buy most of my things. Um, because when in doubt, if I bought something, assume I bought it used. Yeah, that's that's always cool. Like, um, when you find out stuff. Because, like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess you can now check out, Thank uh... You, Commander. These other ones. It's like a, a tiny 2D dude just down below. Oh, they roll. Oh, they got a little thing magic. That's cool. That's cool. Tiny tank. But yeah, I mean, it's cool to know that they, they uh, like. I don't know. I just it's I like I like hearing things. I also like how people when they I like Cover me. I don't know. I, I like people and I like hearing about the things they like. It is um it is very cool to hear about things people like because I like people. I guess is how I would best uh describe that. I, I like I like hearing people and I like hearing their passions and such things. I like whatnot. And then you found it? Okay, Battle Engine Aquila. Okay, we'll have to look that up here in a second because I, I don't know if that's the name I heard of. But yeah, after we do this escort mission, we will definitely look at that and see, see if it wonders if it's the thing I'm thinking of. Man, that definitely put a lot of uh, effort into, like, Getting all this going. This is very good. Wake her up, Ace. Yeah. The more peeps that are happy, the more the world is happy. That is how things should be. So we, when when peeps be around. And they all happies, we all happies. So always support your peeps as best you can. Don't just do all of it just because you can, but do what you can for your peeps. I guess I need to liberate the town of Asher. Yeah, I, uh, I guess I need to just blow up these tanks for now. Explosions. It was also on the PS2, but I, I played it on the Xbox. Hate that I can't say Xbox One because they named third gen that. Yeah. That's all. That is going to be the weirdest thing going forward. Because I do actually. I want to own an Xbox, but you also get like weird stuff like when trying to hunt down those now. I don't know if I'm supposed to be blowing these up or not. Watch it. 
Oh, okay, I'm not meant to blow up that. What am I meant to up ammo and stuff? But yeah, the, the Xbox One as a name is the most annoying thing ever. Like, just name it like Xbox, I don't know, like Infinity or Xbox Continuum. Like that, that would have been so much better, but like, no. It's Xbox, you won. What am I meant to shoot? Like, there's, there's this building. Oh, that was that. Oh, well. Uh, oh, there's a helipad right here. But yeah, the, the X, uh, Xbox naming conventions are annoying. Like, I got 360. Uh, can I not? Can I dock? Wait, wait. Oh, oh, okay, this is cool. Okay, so the, the top uh, shoulder buttons can strafe you. Okay, that's cool. Okay, uh, now how, can I land? There's this little thing like I did here. That's the shoots. That's to rockets. That's the strafers. Does that do anything? Uh, info. Help. Liberate the town of Ashford. Oh, okay, we need to watch another one of those things. And Lamont lives. We've got to fix that. Hacked, we have any agents in place. I'm going to slip some water while we watch this. Local town. One, Naja Hanna. She leads a popular resistance, a very tough customer by all accounts. Mostly grassroots support. To get her help, we'll have to earn her confidence. Opportunity knocks. Her hospital compound is under siege right now. Cover her in battle and escort her to safety, Commander. We need her on our side. Return to home. Oh, okay, that's why. I... Okay, I need to return to home base. Which, where am I? Uh, I am. I don't know where home base is. It's got a big H on it, but I don't think that's thing. Hospital defense minimal. <laughs> yeah, I, I I pretty much blew everything up when I could see. Oh, we, we've been committing war crimes. This is the war crime stream, apparently. Remember, when in doubt, always use napalm, kids. Strike net. No armor left, Ace. End of story. Mileage bonus lost. Gonna lurk now and need sleep for a long day tomorrow. Enjoy the stream. See y'all next time for more crimes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Thanks for coming, Harry. Like, I hope it was, uh, again, I just hope it was fun. Um, again, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. But yeah, again, uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to stream because I meant to just do it as a small thing. But yeah, again, thanks to everybody who came, everybody who started following. It's super nice of you all. And thanks, Nana, for uh, having everything coming in. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed it. it. I know it's not Mega Man, um, but I hope everybody likes my, my goofiness. Uh, but yeah, um, okay, what was, but yeah, the, but you, you have a good, re you have a great rest of your day, Harry, uh, hope tomorrow goes well if you have a long day, uh, with work or whatever going on, um, but yeah, everybody, always remember, have, have make sure you have the best of time you can, and just do your best within your circumstance, and whatnot, because we in the, we in the, the, the COVID times, these strange times. Um, but yeah, I think that was that was a really cool little like uh, roundabout crazy bit of junction. Um, let's try out. I think we'll try out one more game, and then we will um, uh, call it a night. So let us see what. Oh yeah, y'all can actually see all this stuff on my screen. Um, let us see, let us see what stuff lies in this dimension. Uh, but uh, since no, uh, I guess let's let's do Ace Combat. Um, oh yeah, I did try playing this once. I think yeah, I, I tried doing this all. 
Because uh, look, this these menus, my friends, are aesthetic. Combat, change over the thing. Three, enter the electrosphere. But yeah, like, uh, Ace Combat, game where you pilots, uh, airplanes and do aerial madness. If I can remember what all this stuff was. But now, oh, again, this is groovy soundtrack. Hopefully I remember the controls. Again, these menus are... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay. Engage. Oh, God, I don't... Try to remember the controls, man. Okay, that's that's how I shoot. That's how I turn myself around. Oh, we have target. I'm falling. I don't know how to stay alive myself. I don't know where my... Wait, what was, what was the shoot button again? Um... Okay, I got one. We got one. I know there's a way you can also, uh... Ah, there it is! Okay, now I can probably stabilize myself to some degree. What? What is... I have a flap! I repeat, we have flap. We, we have flaps. Okay, we've gotten three. Three targets. I don't know. Bullseye. You love that they added Bitchy Betty into this game? Who's... The computer lady? I've got... I need to turn my camera. This is very cool looking, but very weird to control. Oh god, no! Wait, is that like an actual piloting thing? Like what, where, or what people, or like what pilots would call um, their uh, little voices thing? Oh god, I'm flying too low, man. Oh, that's neat. That that is actually legit neat. Uh, can I... What the? Is, this opens a flap. I'm assuming that maybe slows me down a little bit. If I can do, like, stuff? Can I up my gears, or what? What, 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 what crazy is this? Oh god! There we go! Rock and roll! I don't know what I'm doing, but this is cool. Going back around for another strafing run. Oh, no, apparently I'm right on top of it. That's the problem. There's the next target. <laughs> I just keep turning right on my side. Uh, now, this is the true Star Fox. With no foxes in sight and a bird. Oh, shit. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Fire! This. Yes. 
So pilots would keep forgetting their training protocols about altitude and some, and sometimes they would do be so tunnel vision they would uh, wouldn't pay attention to the alarms. Okay. Alright, is there a, oh, there's my next target. Okay, so that these definitely control this, and then that's my up and down. So then they put in the, the Betty to get pilots to not be like fuckheads, I guess? And not die? Oh no! I done... I done diddle. So add sensors to the plane, and if the sensor noticed you did something wrong, it would play a woman's voice telling you what's wrong and how to fix it. Okay. That's neat. It also is very much like a... Uh, like a thing that would make it makes sense because of how people will like do stuff. Damn, am I meant to like gun this guy down? Or what am I? Oh, yeah, this is an enemy. We're dog fighting everybody. We're fighting them dogs. Yeah! She was a known as Bitchy Betty. Rumors say she saved thousands of lives from un, unaware pilots. Well, that's pretty metal. Sounds like Betty would be rocking and rolling. Uh, yep. oh, crap! No, 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 no! We are at damage 100. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. You do get to see a replay of this. So now you can see my nonsense flying and, like, coolness. I think there was something... Oh yeah, you could see, like, a top-down view of it all. Uh, and it cinematic camera. But yeah, that was neat. Um, definitely a series I keep meaning to try out to get, do more. Uh, these Ace Combat games. Um, but yeah, like, that's super neat. And also we got to know some cool stuff from Doodle. So she retired four years ago after over 20 years of service. Oh, that's, again, that's pretty metal. <laughs> four years of, uh, 20 years of service. Uh, of like, of Betty. That's, again, that's pretty metal. That's pretty metal, everybody. So if anyone here's a pilot, remember Betty. Because Betty remembers you. Because she saved you alive. But yeah, I hope, uh, I hope everybody liked this little weird stream I had um just trying to again i want to stream more um but i just was like i want i said i didn't stream sunday and the previous sunday and or the, any of the wednesdays i did i was like hey let's uh let's stream something so i was like hey let's do that and so we did we played a bunch of random ps1 games because this is fun to me like playing random uh ass things is good. It's very, very chill. And we got to try out that nuclear strike, which was pretty neat. I got to show you guys some weird stuff I found that has very cool visuals on it. Uh, and we, we got a raid from somebody who I'm just checking out after I went on a raid of them. So that was pretty cool. Definitely, like... I, I wish I streamed more consistently so I could, uh, again, even, even with my very small viewer count, like, raid other people. But, uh, yeah. I, I just hope everybody enjoyed this. I... Cause I'm, I'm a rambling man. If you couldn't tell, I'm a rambling man. So I like to talk, and I needs to do a podcast. Was awesome. Oh, th I'm glad. I'm glad you had fun, Doodle. I'm glad. I'm always, I always enjoy it when y'all, when you get in here. I tend, I tend to not see you as much, but I'm always good to see you. Cause you're always good to hear from. 
because I stream at weird times. Strange times, indeed. I, I think I might need to start, because at 7, I don't get a whole lot, but I think like more later in, I tend to get better things, so I might start streaming like later into the night on Sundays. I'm not sure. Um, which probably be better in terms of like me getting my energy, because I always get like a boost at like 10 o'clock, and I'm like, oh great, now I won't go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Like, uh, I'll I'll be on the lookout for you and anybody else who who enjoy who came in on the stream now. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody. Uh, I'm gonna try and uh, get back in the swing of things after about having a uh, two weeks of of madness where I'm just like really not up to it. Um, but yeah, and you can see me doing stuff on the Twitters as normal. I'm you trying to post. Uh, more often like stuff I don't know, i'm trying to react more to things going on or just be more speakative on uh social media um because i feel like i don't know i just feel like i should use it more because i have it and not just be like oh yeah here's every once in a while a thing that i can post on twitter that feels okay uh but yeah i will try to try to do more i guess smaller or random streams like this, where I just find a bunch of weird games, or neat games, or, like, games I want to, like, show off to people. Uh, and, um, do this. Uh, because it was, it was a fun, like, basically, a, it's about two hours. But yeah, I hope, uh, hope everybody comes back, or I hope you all have a great one. I am very much stretching out this ending, but I, I am a talker. I'm a, I'm a, I'm <laughs> I'm a TikToker even. I have a TikTok, but I never used it. I, I should try to, to do something with that, like, and whatnot. Because um, that's the thing, and I, I had fun with those couple things. I just kind of, like, lost track of doing it. But, yeah, that's, again, I'm, I'm being a rambler. Um, I'm going off on all these tangents. It's <laughs> I'm a TikToker, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I hope everybody has a good one. Everybody has a safe one. You all have uh, good times good times with the with me and my 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 tiktok rambling <laughs> oh god now i feel like obligated to make sure i actually post something on tiktok now uh but yeah you, you have a good one as well doodle you have a, a good uh also everybody else has a good hope you all had a uh you just again a, a good times good vibes for everybody that's all i want i always want it's just good times uh and also, deep diving into wikis. Find find a wiki that you want to deep dive into and dive right in. Gain knowledge. Seek it. Gain it. Observe it. And then spread it to your friends who will presumably not care as much, but will still be cool because they get to hear you talk about something you're passionate about. Because that is good. Just don't do it too much. Make sure you listen to them when they talk about their passionate thing. Because friendship... Okay, now I'm actually going to stop because I'm just rambling on about intern like all kinds of nonsense. All right, end card. Goodbye, everybody. Y'all have a good one.